Hello, it's Sazamorph here and welcome to the Hexit server, which is run by Kurgle and Trinkety. This is where I've been hanging out uh, when I have when I find time to do Minecraft things. Uh, this is since the birth of my daughter. I've not had a moment to do any filming, but I have been able to spend a little time here as often as I can. Now, that routine is settling in with the new long, 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 young lady in my life and I'm hoping to return to my Minecraft series but I'll discuss that in the Minecraft series video as it doesn't make sense here let's be honest. Now I am midway through a project and I thought well seeing I'm midway through a project uh, I may as well film it just to get back to filming again uh, and then it dawned on me I'm a bit slow at times well most of the times to be honest Hangs head and shoe uh, that we could include other play po players projects on the server uh, and see what the plans are. We may even return to see the projects to see uh, how they turn out and if they turn out as they plan. But I guess we'll see th how things unravel as times go by. Now this is uh, where you spawn in on the server. I thought this is a, an ideal location. Well I'll say this is the it's, it's approximation for, for a better word of it uh, of where you come in and across here is the uh, spawn village which was uh, generated by the players on, I believe, the back of a, an existing village near Spawn. So I'm just going to head across here for now and we can have a little chat about the... Um, I think we'll have a little talk about server and hex it as a mod anyhow. Um, but let's get across into a bit of a safer zone because I don't know what time is it. Oh, it's midday, so we're alright at the moment. Um, so let's head across. These towers were made by a player called Evil Al. We'll come across him in our travels, I'm sure. Uh, Evil Al's one of... Uh, many active players on the server, but we'll get to we'll get to some of his other creations. But he's created these two towers as entrance. So this is the spawn village. Um, so let's go through a few things. Let's have a chat about. Let's talk about the server. Uh, this server, uh, as I as I said initially, is run by Cargo and Trinkety. They started uh, this server in October two thousand and thirteen, and they they reset it in March the following year. They are a couple I met many moons ago on a role-play server on a small game called World of Warcraft. There are, of course, many stories I could tell you, but let's just say, for the horde. Uh, for now. <laughs> um, the majority of the server players are, in fact, role players. Uh, and also LARP players, which is live action role play. Um, let's have a look at the so got here. Animals. Um... Now, what that does mean for the server is it can go quiet. As if I do that, you can see I'm on myself just today. Um, I did some test filming and Evil Al was around for that as well as I think it was between was on. Anyhow, uh, it can mean that the server can be quiet um, place due to people being off and role playing somewhere and somehow in some form. Um, there are a few builders on the server. Evil Al, as you can see, is one. Um, another one would be, well, in fact, they're all build, we're all builders, let's be honest, it's Minecraft after all, but there are some key builders uh, in the module, but there's also a key amount of people that like to go off on adventuring and hunting in the Twilight Forest, uh, dungeons supplied by uh, Better Dungeons, to name but one, or Fight Tougher Mods, supplied by Infernal Mods, to name but another. And I will show you some debris near what my uh, project, which we'll get to later on in, in this episode. Um where there was a lot of desolation, well not desolation, but a lot of ice generated by a cow that had about 10,000 hit points or something ridiculous on it that we, myself and Thuridan, did battle with to remove it so it wouldn't damage my my project. Now, let's see, well, let's talk about Hexit, shall we? Um, Hexit's an old mod pack, well I, was, I define it as an old pack, supplied by the Technic Group. Uh, the version that it runs on is Minecraft 1.5 uh, point two. I'm sure that uh, the gang will tell me wrong, tell me different if I've got that wrong. Now, what that means is that we don't have such nice things as horses. Well, as defined in Minecraft, horses. Oh, yeah, correction. We do have horses, but they are due to the mod pack Zulu and are uh, as much used as a chocolate fire guard. Let's be honest. But that said, horses had to start start somewhere, and in Hexit they started here. Now that leads on to the next thing is so instead of horses, this mod pack um, gives us Chocoboo. Hopefully I've got that right. They remind me of a certain creature from uh, Final Fantasy series. 
if you have a look at the yellow ones, here they are. Uh, <laughs> um, that said, that um, due to the noise that they make, which you're hearing at the moment, I would prefer to put an arrow in the head rather than ride them. But they are an option. We've actually got a chocobo. I think that's one from the nether. But as you can see, I take a lot of interest in. Hello, reindeer. Uh, <coughs> who says reindeer can't climb? Hmm. Now, as I say, Hex has been around for a long time, and it's staple mod packs for those that do like fantasy in the game. That's what I was thinking about there. Yeah, fantasy. Um, now, it may not seem that I'm a big fan of Hexit to some of the, my fellow colleagues. And, well, if I'm honest, as a builder, it does make life difficult with exploding meteorites, um, which is courtesy of falling meteorites mod. Thank you very much, girl. However, it must be said that if all I wanted to do was adventure, then I would get a lot of enjoyment from the challenge. Um, but anyhow, in any case, uh, let's put the mod pack aside. I did come here to join my friends by gaming with them, so let's get on and see what they've accomplished to date. So, I'm thinking that for the first episode, we'll probably have a look around a few of the things in Spawn Village, if I can find where they've put them. They're always hiding things, you know, it's like, you know... So let's have a look around here. I think... Yeah, this is the entrance to the Twilight Portal. So this is um, a mod that allows you to... It generates another world, but it has lots of castles and tougher mods and uh, like hydras and stuff like that in it. You uh, basically make a pool, surround it by flowers, throw a diamond down and poof, you've got a Twilight Portal to another land. And it's lots of fun. We will cover that off because it's actually a project that was carried out over there. Um, I'm just trying to think it was done... I think it was done by Thorodin, but I'm going to get my knuckles wrapped on that, I think. He's built a castle over there, so we'll probably cover that with Thorodin. Thorodin is actually moving house at the moment, I believe. So he's disappeared, and he's threatened to... I mean, sorry, he's, he's, he's promised to return. And we do look forward to seeing him when he gets back. There's no door in there. There's no door. I'll have to replace that at some point. Now, this... I, I thought this was part of the zoo, but I could be wrong. Um... This is just animal stock. Uh, we've got a spawner. These are the cages here. So what you do is that there is a mod where you collect the souls and put them in the cages. You get to level 5. You can use them in the overworld and they generate things. So you can kill all these animals and then they'll respawn through that spawner. Just like a skeleton spawner and a well, zombie spawner, spider spawner, blah, blah, blah. But um, there is a zoo being created by Between, so we'll get to that shortly. Now, this is how we travel around on the server. Um, and I'm trying to think, these are, um, lead to a teleportation hub, I think is the best way to put it. Uh, the mod is by, uh, Dimension Doors, and, uh, Evil R was the, was kind enough to make the portal and the hub. Um, uh, again, would like to cover off a couple more of his projects, as he's got a project to the north, um, where Hexit puts in a massive wall that goes right along full length of the server at certain point and then anything north of that wall is exceptionally hard a lot harder than the um, uh, uh, bad guys like the zombies and skeletons you have to fight on this side of the wall um, so yes it's uh, it's getting dark um, so yes he's working on a project up there that would be good to cover with him so we'll probably cover the twilight um, well let's say the, the, the teleportation hub when we do that um, now, if you've noticed, there's a lot of trees around outside. These, this is a tree plantation generated by the players. Uh, trees from twilight, uh, from the nether, etc. brought over. Uh, this is basically made by Thoradin and with the support of Kurgle. Um, the crux of that is to allow players, when they turn up uh, and join the server or whatever, not to have to go and hunt for the trees. They have full, full permission to chop down one of these trees and then replant it and take away any extra saplings they do get so that they can do it. I in fact did it with uh, the silver bell tree here because it gives quite a nice silvery um, yeah, silvery wood which does nice uh, fence panels and stuff like that so it's all good, it's all good. Um, here's another mod that we've got that's been generated by the guys. This is uh, Tinker's Construct. Uh, we've got the smell tree there and the building that now spawns under the mod within villages, so feeling is that this was already here and it's just been adapted. Uh, Kuggles put an automatic smelter in, it's very straightforward. Input of stuff in the top, um, input your coal in here. The coal gets fed by Hopper into the oven, as same for the input of the item you want to smelt, and then you have automatic smelting. Now, what do we have? Venison steak or beef? Meef steak. 
and have some beef steak because we got quite hungry. Now, um, what else could I talk about here? Uh, right, we've talked about the zoo. We've seen the Chocobo farm. Now, that Chocobo farm was created by uh, Throdrin. And, uh, yeah, the buildings that you're seeing, which are not... The, these ones here are a design used by Trinkety. She's actually working on a village up north. Now, I'm going to call a map up because you get a big map. Um, as you can see here, if I scroll, uh, this is where Trinket is working at the moment, and we will have a look at that. This is Between's area. Uh, Between's stand a roller coaster, which we'll probably have a go on. Um, he's generating a zoo, and he seems to have quite a few projects on at the moment. This is my project over here. Uh, if you follow you know, this rather long line and stuff, which we'll get to in a minute. And there's a couple of other players, but I haven't been able to speak to them before making this video so i'm actually going to stay clear because i've got a feeling they've actually used their real name and not in game i do try and refer to people in their in game just to give them a bit of privacy now what you can see is the shining lights over here let's have a quick scooby over here here we have a fighting arena created by theradin it's um spawns mobs i'm going to come in up and over the window now last time i was here i had a little skeleton incident i'll see if i can do that and i'll put it I'll, I'll, I'll put it in at the end because um, it just shows the difference uh, between normal mods and ordinary mods. Now, let's see, I think that covers it. Obviously, the gang will tell me if I've missed anything, and I will do great pleasure in introducing the guys as we go. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to just run around and see if I've missed anything, which I don't think I have. Village mods, da -da -da -da. yeah, pretty comfortable. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to wait for sun sunrise and then we're going to take a wander to uh, my project and um, we'll go from there. Okay, new day, sun is rising. I've been around the village and I've been around a couple of the other guys' projects just to have a quick look at them. I think for this episode though, the only um, project I'll show for now, in addition to what I've shown earlier, is that this tower here was created by... Throdrin, um, the gentleman who created this mob spawning arena. So what we'll do now is I think that we'll head across to uh, the project I've been working on. That said, uh, whilst we're heading there, um, which we're actually just about to get to now, uh, what I would like to mention is two projects created by, that are in the pipeline, I should say, not created by, still got to put some lights in here. Uh, that are being created by Kurgle and Trinkety. Um, I seem to be having this problem quite a bit here, by the way, where the world is not loading up. Uh, I think this is down to the server and my recording device not wanting to play ball. So whilst I'm filling this in, I'll explain what Trinkety and Kurgle are up to. Trinkety um, is looking to do a sewer system under the village that she's working on, which could be a lot of fun, you know, monsters and not lighting things up, always a bit of fun really. Um, and Cargo is looking to do a conversion of a hydro den that he and others found to clear out. Can I see the Vinoy over there, can't you? So those are a couple of things that we'll probably get involved in with them, have a look at and enjoy. Now this is the beginning of my project. I have stopped here because we have another player. This is one of the players I'm not going to uh, discuss just now because I need to have a chat with them first. This is my project and I've pulled it up to here because obviously I'm getting close to his uh, initial setup, whether he's staying there or not. Don't, don't know yet, but there we go. So these two towers are based on a real building. Uh, it was called the Non-Such Palace. It's in uh, Chim. Um, and I'm actually working on a project regarding a Whitehall Museum, um, project manager on that. So um, you can see here that what I've tried to do is encapsulate the feel for the towers at Nonsuch. These are much smaller versions, so if, but uh, hopefully we get the right feel for it. So I use those to give a feel for the, of a grand entrance. Um, I've placed a ton, well basically a covered walkway, covered walkway. In. This is the covered walkway because I'm in a snow biome. Um, the village um, is in actually a wasteland. That's that grey material you can see in the distance. Um, so that, that you don't get any rain there. Basically, it's like a Sahara and other things, which is all part of the mo extra biomes mod. 
Here I've decided to do a bit of uh, sprucing up. This lawn is by a mod called Off Lawn, funnily enough. I any mobs land on it, I think they still spawn. I think I've had experience on the spawning on the stuff, but they don't like it. They'll run away off it, so it makes them very uncomfortable, so it's quite quite good stuff. So I've laid the lawn on this side and made it look kind of um, fancy agricultural, like architecturally uh, landscape design style. Uh, you can see here the two different types of, well, three different types of wood actually. This is the uh, uh, the normal oak wood fencing. This is spruce, and this is the silver bell trees. So I quite like that on the on the stone. I think it looks quite nice. I've used that as a perimeter. This area is still for development. Um, I'm looking to make this as a trade centre. So have stalls along here, and then people can buy and sell, uh, or we'll make it in the village either way. But I'm going to do my own trade area here so that's a plan for the future um this project just came around f the fact i wanted to build a bridge that was the purpose of it uh, and there is part of this is a bridge that was my original site hut which i've moved on from um but as i said i felt it was best to have a, a covered walkway because of the snow uh, i've built balustrades as you can see we're now actually on the bridge element so coming across now i've started to do some work over here i have built myself what has to be said is a I suppose a modernistic looking uh, reed farm or wheat farm for the seeds because you need seeds and earth to make the lawns so I'll do that I've made myself a Tudor or started to do my own Tudor feel um, because my village which I'm going to build from scratch will be Tudor so this is an experimental this is my Tinker's Constructs it's got the got the smelter in here some storage from ores you see, we actually get ore berries, there are bushes in the game, thanks to the ad, on uh, the mod, I should say, not add on mod. Uh, I don't know what I did there, I thought I was suffering. Um, which gives you those. So, basically, I've recreated a Tinker's Construct building and put the items in as you would see it. Um, over here, I've used the 6x6 uh, six six designed um, buildings that you find in villages and just modified it to look like a couple of buildings uh, built a bridge over to here that tower you see in the distance was my old location when I first set up it was I found a blacksmith's building out in the middle of nowhere so I kind of just set myself up in there um, so the, this is this is my base I've put myself a tree plantation I've done this a few times before just surrounded it by wood by a wooden fence uh, not finished the wooden fence as always um, as you can see there's gaps there um, on the top element of the wood it's got to be said planted the trees that I use the most then occasionally go in there and harvest them and uh, yeah this is the crux I've got a site office underneath there which you'll see as we go on but I'll head up here the crux of this is I'm making a larger project if you have a look on the mini map which is on the right hand top right hand of your picture you will see a green area within the snow I've managed to do this by flooding the area with torches uh, not good for the summer because it obviously then has to register every single one uh, and I'm you know hoping to get this element done as quick as possible but this is my project here there was a large castle here it went up into the clouds but I slowly dismantled it there was a mountain that came across to probably that orange where my that orange block is I'll explain what those are in a minute there was also a, another large I'll say church building obviously I'm open for correction the large church building where this circle began because this is a circle I'm building a circular plateau uh, so I've still got to take that house out there I've finally decided to take it out and not leave it clear through that hill there clear all this out here and then I'll have a nice circular platform, all with torches for now. And then I'm going to build something rather large on the top of it. And then I'm going to place a village within it. It's not a dome, but you wouldn't be far off um, if thinking about that. Now, these are flying islands that are added in on the, on the game. Unfortunately, I hang my head. I can't remember what the mod is off the top of my head. I've caught them all, but I can't remember which one this one is. I have had actually to remove two of those flying islands because one was directly above the circle and the other one was directly above um, the my location here. And I kept on getting big things, big uh, mobs dropping on my head, including the king slimes, uh, king of the slimes dropping on my head. So um, got rid of them. 
uh, free running chukaboo there as well. So this is the project that I'm going to film over time. Um, so hopefully you'll join me for that. Hopefully you'll also join me to look at my colleagues' projects because that's the really exciting thing for me is to film other people's projects and see them develop as they want them to do. And also we'll probably do some adventuring. Uh, looking forward to Trinkety's project because we might be able to do a bit of both. I clear out areas with uh, the gang to allow her to do work or go in there and support her if she gets overrun by, by mobs because of uh, working underground. So this is just the start. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm looking forward to making more and as I say, uh, we'll do some episodes with the individuals um, as we want to cover the projects. I did say I was going to cover off these. These are meteorite shields. I've placed a few down. You can see one, two, three, four. There's probably another one to go over there. What this stops is meteorites landing. If you have a look over there, you will see a crater with black blocks in it. That was a meteorite strike. I've actually had quite a few in this location. They always seem to be attracted to me. I don't know whether that's the server trying to tell me something or not. I don't know. But we'll come across them, no doubt, as we go forward with the filming. So I'm going to call this short now because I think this is about the right time. And I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you will join me next time. So until next time, keep safe. As you can see, not a normal skeleton. If you read at the top of the screen, Ultra Healing, Soul Shard, Spawn Skeleton, the Predator, cloaking with our Blast Off, Storm, Vengeance, Ninja Regen, and it's got 140 hit points. So if I just get my bow and arrow and give him a bit of a shoot. You see, he's now teleported and he's coloured in all my hearts. You can see all my hearts there have gone bananas. Uh, and he's gone invisible. And stuff. Come on, have you? Have it, have it, come on. I'm only taking 14 hit points off him at a time, and you think how many hit points he had, so I've got to hit him at least 10 times. I'm really doing a rubbish job of that right now, haven't I? And I haven't even entered through the front door. But he's, um, he is going down. That's his cloaking. He's dead. Have it. Oh, he's dropped some, dropped some nice stuff. Uh, did I want to come in here? No. Get me out of here. Help! Uh, how'd you get out of this? Uh, that's a good question. Um, 